What's up everyone? I decided to take a ride out to Toys R Us today for what reason I don't know why because they usually never have nothing but yesterday my friend Anthony found a Transformers Prime Voyager Skyquake which I have not seen in the US I know they released a long time ago but whatever and they charged them $30 for it which is ridiculous so I decided to take a trip there maybe they had something new I usually look at the Transformers, the Marvel Legends and then like the NECA figures and that's about it but today I walked down the aisle with the Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers and I found this which I probably been out for a while I have no idea but I picked it up because it's the only Power Rangers show I enjoyed when I was a kid I thought everything else sucked but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord um yeah so I picked them up this is Legacy up here too. I don't know if you can see it because the box is kind of tall but it says Legacy on the side and you know it's a pretty sturdy box I mean, it's a Seriously, it's nice. But anyway, yeah. So, I decided to pick it up. It goes to, actually, no, that's not the truth because I like the second version of Power Rangers after these guys when Tommy had the, uh, he was the White Ranger and there was the, the Red Ranger had that dragon type deal thing. Uh, I like that, those guys too because I had those swords when I was younger. So yeah, I mean, they're pretty cool, they're plastic and metal, and you need to put stickers on them. I don't remember if the originals were all, like, were metal and plastic. It's been a long time, I'm pretty sure they were, probably. But, I mean, they, to me, they look just like them. Got the metal tail, nothing else is metal on this guy. Um, the only articulation he has in, uh, his animal dino, dinosaur mode is just his head, which is only due to because he comes becomes the foot, you know. Um, <clears throat> this guy, he you know his arms, but he really can't stand in any way but that. So his head, technically, there's really no kind of articulation because it's only due to transformation. The Pink Rangers, um, bird, you know the wings go in and out. The head moves like this. The the head and the beak are, uh, you know, the one piece, but it, this is die cast on here. Every every single uh, robot has a die cast part on him. We've got the Mastodon, which is arms inside here are metal. It's pretty hefty. Nice quality paint, though, like metallic paint on the heads and stuff like that. The stickers that come on the factory are like these gold ones, and they're put on really shitty, too. Like I keep trying to roll the wrinkles out, they roll, but they pop right back up because the plastic is greasy from the factory, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, he has leg. The front legs don't move. Nothing else moves. They're just pretty much whatever. And then you got your Tyrannosaurus Rex for the Red Ranger. His arms do move. His head goes up and down. His mouth opens. Um, the legs do move. Somewhere like that, dude. That's for the transformation he has. No. It's only because of transformation. This is the only real way he stands. I mean, I'm sure you maybe get him a little lower like that, crouching, but, like, really. He's got nice nipple knees. Nice, nice nipples there on his knees. Uh, tail doesn't do anything except for move when it transforms. Trail kind of, the tail kind of sucks, too, because when you go like this, it, like, it wiggles back and forth like this. It's not on, like, a nice joint. It's just, like, on a ball joint. Sort of. He just sits in the plastic and it rotates. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, that's about it. And the Zord modes. I mean, you could open up his mouth. He has the sticker makes it this fire blaster right there. You yeah, know, whatever. But other than that, these guys just sit there and do nothing. Um, yeah. That's about what they do to transform them. Start off with his feet. Go like this. And actually go like that first. And boom. One foot. And he falls over. Very nice. Yeah, he has um he has a nub right here. So, you know, he's kinda got like a uh an A stance, I guess. Which is pretty cool because Voltron needed that because his legs just touched. Flip his head up, flip his legs forward, flip his feet in. 
And once again, I should have probably did this first. And that's his other one. Uh, T-Rex, T-Rex, you move his tail first, get that out the way. Then you move his legs, if not, the legs rub against the tail. But we'll, don't do that first. You want to take these, stick them in, rotate them down. Bring the tail down a little bit after you do that. If his arms are out like that, you just bring them up. Bring the chest forward. Bring the head down. Yeah, kind of like get his nose past the little like nub right here. Bring this back up, and if you really want to do it show accuracy, just leave the head like that for now. Plug these in. <clears throat> um, we'll put his arms on. We'll put the chest plate on last. I don't remember how it goes where in the show. Pop his head off. Um, bring these up like this fold this out now these can pop off from here too if you would like it's, if it's easier to do it that way you just pop it off but I keep them on because it's just gonna go back there rotate his arms around like this bring him down got his arms like that bring your shoulder pads up and you take this whole piece and there's these two little look like uh, five millimeter peg ports on the transformers plug right into his back. You just plug this whole piece up, bring his arms forward with tab on those, boom, like that. Then you take his tail, you lift it up between there, there's a little tab, tab it in, make sure his legs are straight. Almost done. Take the bird, tuck its head down, bring the wings in, bring the wings in, plug, take the feet off, and you just plug them all in. Plug them in. And you take his head. Oh, wow, you can't even see where I plugged his chest in because the damn camera is too far. It's pretty tall. So I doubt you even seen this. I'll show you. Let's take that off again. Alright, I'm sure I showed you that. You just take it, you plug it in the back, bring it forward like this, boom, plug it in, take this piece, snap it in. There's a tab on each side. Just check to make sure it's in. That's in. Take his tail. Bring it up, it'll tab right there. Uh, you take the guns, which is in the other mode, just tab them right here into the bottom of the mastodon's feet on his back. Come around, bring his head thing forward, pull this out, bring his arm forward, and there goes one of his, his shield, and you got his sword. Put it in this hand. And there goes your Megazord. Now his articulation, up and down. I mean, you can get a little inward action with the arms, but it looks ridiculous because the foot just pops out. Um, head does not turn at all. You got no waist movement. You got knee movement, but it's forward. It's not backwards. It's due to uh, the Red Ranger Zords. Transformation and you got forward on the legs. So pretty much he's just gonna stand here like this and you can move his arms whatever way you want it. You know, pretty much have him like this. Um he does have that other mode where now he goes into the land thing. I think I got a picture of it. I'm not gonna transform into it because it's just a stupid ass mode. I, you know they did that a couple times in the show. It's just dumb, it's retarded. I don't really care for it. But all in all, I mean, this guy was sixty bucks. Is he worth sixty bucks? I mean, all the all the Power Ranger stuff is expensive. Like the whole full um, Zords out for the show now, it's like a hundred and thirty dollars for every single piece for it. Because I guess there's the main Zord and there's other pieces that attach to it to make some kind of crazy ass Super Zord type deal shit. I don't know. I don't follow it. But the paint apps on this guy are amazing. They're really nice, especially on the face and everything. Like everything's really nice on them. Some of the stickers you have to place, like this sticker, this sticker, these stickers. Um, all of this was placed up there already. You had to place these stickers, that sticker, this sticker. You know, just stuff on the side over here. So as long as you place it nice, you know, the whole thing will look nice. You know, there's no sloppy paint or nothing. It's it's a really nice figure. 
even though it just sits there. I mean, because it's the original figure, you know, back in uh, when this come out. I was in West, they still lived in West Haven. I moved out of West Haven when I was 13. So that was 93. This show maybe started in 92, 91. I don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. Not bad. So, I don't know. If you're a Power Ranger fan, which I know, you know there's a lot of people that are. They actually got the uh, the original Morphers too. With all the metal coins and shit like that, it lights up. It looks really nice. It looks better than the original. It's like it's an upgraded version. But yeah, I mean, stuff's kind of pricey, but I mean, if you're a fan, you're a fan, and you're gonna pay for it. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I think this is a nice, you know, rep, just I don't know if it's an upgrade or better plastic. I don't remember what the original one looks like. So as a as a toy model, but it's I don't know, I like it brings back memories. Take it easy guys.